anyone happen to bring with them this morning a calculator? If you have a calculator with you and you're pretty comfortable using it, uh, raise your hand. Okay, I see. Okay, one person over here. And uh, uh, all right, how about, uh, how about you? That's two. And okay, uh, three and four. Would the four of you join me up on stage? Let's give these volunteers a nice round of applause. Come on up here. Over on this side. Great. One, two, three. And one more round of applause for our brave volunteers. Thank you so much. Now, since I haven't had the chance to work with these calculators, I need to make sure that they are all working properly. Would somebody get us started by giving us a two-digit number, please? Ma'am, how about a two-digit number? 67. 67. And another two-digit number, please, a two-digit number? 58. 58. Multiply 67 times 58 on your calculator. Make sure you get 3,886 or the calculators are not working. Do all of you get 3,886, 3,886? Give them a round of applause. <laughs> now, I notice that took some of you just a little bit of time to get your answer. That's OK. I'll give you a shortcut for multiplying even faster on the calculator. There's something called the square of a number, which many of you know is taking a number and multiplying it by itself. For instance, 5 squared would be 25. Ah, smart audience. Now, on most calculators, uh, there, there, there is a shortcut for doing it. Oh my gosh, you've got some pretty sophisticated ones that actually have an x squared button on it. For your calculator, you might just do like 5 times 5 equals. Okay, you might have to do it the long way. But what I'm going to try and do now is to square in my head four two digit numbers faster than they can do on their calculators, even using the shortcut method. What I'll ask four people, let's say in the third row this time, one, two, three, four to each yell out a two-digit number, and if you would square the first number, the second, the third, and the fourth, I will try and race you to the answer. So quickly, a two-digit number, please. 39. 39. 72. 72. 96. 96. 108. 108. Give the, <laughs> would you call out your answers, please? 1,521. 1,521. Do 72 times 72? 108. That's for you. What did you get? 9216. 9216. What do you got? I got, I got. 5,184. And finally, 11,664. Give them a round of applause. Let me try to take this one step further. I'm going to try to square some three-digit numbers this time. I won't even write these down. I'll just call them out as they're called out to me. Uh, anyone I point to call out a three-digit number. Anyone on our panel, verify the answer. If I get the answer right, give me a thumbs up. If I make a mistake, let me know, and I'll try and fix it, OK? Uh, a three-digit number, sir, three digits. 384 squared is 147,456. Yes, good, OK. Another, uh, another, another three-digit number, uh, sir. 776. 776 is 602,176. 602,176. Yes, good. Another, another three-digit number, sir. 467. 467 is 218,089. 218089. Good. Another, uh, another, another three-digit number. Go ahead. 614. 614 is 376,996. Yes, one more three-digit number, uh, please. Three digits? 452. 452 is 204,304. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let me try to take this one step further. I'll try. I will try to square a four-digit number this time. Now, I'm, I'm not going to beat you to the answer on this one, well, except maybe you, but that's OK. <laughs> Just kidding. But I will, try to get the, I will try to get the answer right. To make this a little bit more random, let's take, uh, let's take four people along this aisle. If I can get the first four of you to call out a single digit between 0 and 9, that will be the four-digit number that I'll square. Go ahead. You can say a single digit, please. Two. 
seven, eight, nine. Who? Two, seven, eight, nine. This will take me a little bit of time, so bear with me. Seven million. 778,521? Yes. Good. Thank you very much. Now, I would attempt to square a five-digit number, and I can, but unfortunately, most calculators cannot. <laughs> Yours can? I'll talk to you later. <laughs> I think he's right. Uh, in the meanwhile, let me conclude the first part of my show by trying something a little trickier. Would you choose any one of the four numbers from the board here? Not the last one, that's a little too big. Any of the first three numbers, which would you like? 9,216. 9,216. Would you each enter 9216 on your calculator? Make sure you all have the correct number to start. And what I want you to do this time is take that number and multiply it by any three-digit number that you'd like. But don't tell me what you're multiplying by. Just multiply it by any random three-digit number. So you should have as an answer either a six-digit or possibly, probably, a seven-digit number. How many digits do you have? Six or seven? Seven. 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 Is there any possible way that I could know what seven-digit numbers they have? Say no. Absolutely. Good. Then I shall attempt the impossible, or at least the improbable. <laughs> what I'd like each of you to do is to call out for me any six of your seven digits, any six of them, in any order you'd like. One digit at a time, I shall try and determine the digit you've left out. So starting with your seven digit number, call out any six of them, please. Did you leave out the number three? Yes. Good, that's one. You have a seven digit number called any six of yours, loud and clear. Three, five, one, six, four, seven. I think you left out the number one. Yes. That's two. You've got a, a seven digit number called any six of them in any order. Four, six, eight, eight, four, eight. I think you left out the number seven. That's three. The odds of me getting all four of these by pure guessing would be one in 10,000, 10 to the fourth power. Okay, any six of yours, really scramble them up this time. 662211. 662211. Do me a favor if you would, concentrate on the digit you left out. Doesn't do any good, it just looks dramatic. <laughs> and yet, I I'm getting a lot of nothing. Did you leave out a zero? because that's why I was getting a lot of nothing. And let's give all four of these people a nice round of applause. Thank you very much. Thank you.